Hello all gentle friends, welcome back to the studio. Today I'm gonna to show you guys my prehistoric animals collection. It's pretty exciting. This out. So this is my entire prehistoric animals collection, okay? So we will take them all out, put them into this box right here, and I'm gonna show you guys one by one, okay? I'm very excited, let's get right into it. Right guys, so let's begin. First figure, we have a young woolly mammoth. I think it is like a baby woolly mammoth, so that's really adorable. And um, the next one is actually a prehistoric deer looking animal, so it is actually known as a Megalosaurus. Alright, it definitely looks like a modern day moose, a modern day reindeer with really huge horns. Alright, next up, we have another woolly mammoth figure. This is a really beautiful one. I think this is actually from um, Safari LTD, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, a woolly mammoth, a 2004 figure, really beautiful. Okay, next up, this is a very, very unique looking, um, it looks like a prehistoric elephant to me. It is known as a Danotherium. It has like two huge tusks right over here, which is like pointing inwards. So it's really, really, really majestic looking, and it definitely looks like a, um, you know, it looks like a modern day elephant for sure. Next up, uh, we have a lot more elephants right over here and this is what is known as a um, step mammoth, if I'm not wrong, alright? You can see it has like very very long and curved tusk, looks really beautiful, okay? Next, we have an animal that looks like a giraffe. So this is actually known as a paraceratherium, alright? It looks very weird when it comes to the face. Okay, it definitely looks like a giraffe. So all these animals right here, they are actually extinct. Okay, next up, um, this is what is known as a straight tusk mammoth. Looks really beautiful as well. You know, the eyes are actually right over here. Looks like a gigantic, strong elephant. So there are plenty of like different kinds of um, um, prehistoric elephants, and this is another one. So this is actually known as an American Mastodon. So it definitely looks like, you know, a modern day elephant. But of course, if you take a look at the body, it has like fur. So this is a very, very nice figure. You know, we got this like, you know, many years back, 2018 figure. So very beautiful. I really love this a lot. I really love all these huge elephants. So I basically put them in my shelf, like right at the back. So you can see this is a woolly mammal from Papo. Really, really, um, classic figure it's really it's made of really really good material as well okay next up this one definitely looks like a rhinoceros and it has a very 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 long and I guess really powerful horn right over here and this is actually known as an elasmotherium a very very heavy figure this is perhaps one of our heaviest figure 2018 collective figure it's really beautiful Next up, what is this? I can't really remember, but it definitely reminds me of a modern day rhinoceros. This is actually known as a mega, mega serops, all right? Mega serops, beautiful one as well. This is known as a deodon. It looks like a wolf, right? It looks like a wolf, it looks like a um, dog, but it's actually closely related to modern day pigs. Yes, that's right. Pretty, pretty weird. Um, this figure has some issues standing, so I'm gonna put it lying down. Next up, what is this? This is actually known as an Ewin Thaterium. Alright, you can see it has a very, very unique looking face with like four horns right over here and two like canine teeth which is like jutting out of the mouth. Ewin Thaterium, a very, very um, weird looking animal, I must say. Okay, next, this is known as an RC Noetherium, one of my most favorite prehistoric animals because I really love how the way it looks it, uh, you know it has two like huge horns these two horns definitely can inflict like serious damage I see no if you really beautiful figure um, a 2014 figure from Collecte all right let's move on let's see what else what else is inside okay we just got this like very recently because of um, Jurassic World so Jurassic World actually produced a Shringosaurus figure so this is also a new Stringosaurus figure from Safari LTD, a 2020 figure. I mean, not super new, but relatively new. All right, 
Um, right here we have another Dano Ethereum. So previously we have one right over here. And this is another one from um, Collecte. I must say that this, it's a really, really well done figure. I mean, if you take a look at the intricate details, it looks very, very amazing. I love this. Okay, next up, um, this is also a Mega Serops right over here. And this is from Collecte. I think Collecte, they are extremely good at um, producing all these prehistoric animal figures. They're really fantastic. They're definitely like collector's item. Um, what is this? This is an Andrew Suckers. It always reminds me of a wolf. Yeah, but I feel... I'm not too sure. It's probably related to a dog as well, a 2016 figure. Really beautiful. Most of the this prehistoric animals figures, they are really, really well done. Okay, this one right here is known as a Meropus. Meropus? And it reminds me of a modern day horse. I'm not too sure whether it's related to a horse, but definitely looks like one. This it's a giant sloth, which is a prehistoric um sloth. Yeah, giant sloth. They are perhaps you know partially with you know maybe they are like very very distant ancestors of our modern day sloths. Okay. Next we have the Sako Sukers. Looks like a uh, it's definitely related to crocodiles nowadays. Yeah, it's basically like a prehistoric crocodile. Okay. And this it's another prehistoric animal known as a Postosuchus. Right? You can see it looks like an alligator to me. Let's see what else are inside. Dimetrodon. Okay, Dimetrodon, I mean I mean we, we, we could have put this together with the um, other dinosaurs, you know, like Dimetrodon. I mean di Dimetrodons, they are not dinosaurs, but you know we we always keep the Dimetrodons together with the dinosaur figures, but yeah, we have actually kept this one, which is from Safari LTD. I think this is a 2017, 2018 figure. Very, very beautiful one. Uh, let's see, what else we've got? This one right here, it looks like a Dimetrodon, but it's actually known as an Edifosaurus. Okay, it also has this huge sail. This is a figure from Collecte 2018. Not as detailed as the prehistoric animals that you know you can find from you know collecting, but still a very nice one. Um, this one right here definitely not the best looking. I think this is an Andrew Suckers if I'm not wrong. Not too sure. This is actually from Mojo. Not very intricately done. Okay, this one is pretty cool. This it's a woolly rhinoceros if I'm not wrong from Safari LTD, a 2019 figure. Yeah, you can see the detailing is pretty cool. But the nostrils are a bit too enlarged to my liking, I think. Okay, let's move on. This, it's an Andrew Sucker's if I'm not. Oh, this is a Deodon. Yeah, I mean, previously I've shown you guys a Deodon. Where is it? Let me try to find that. Okay, so do a comparison. Which one do you think looks better? I mean, if you ask me, I'm going to choose the one from Collecte. Collecte has, they have been producing really, really fantastic, you know, prehistoric animal figures. But this one is pretty good as well. Okay, what is this? This is probably... I'm not too sure what this is, guys. Hyena, Hyenodon Gigas. Yeah, Hyenodon Gigas. Not the best looking, not the most accurate um, figure. Or the most detailed one, but still pretty cool. Our one and only Hyenodon Gigas. Okay, this Woolly Rhino, we have two of them. Yeah, I have no idea why we have two of them. Two of the exact same one right over here. Okay. Um, this one, it should be a Caprosuchus. I think this is a Caprosuchus. It's a very, very beautiful figure from Peppo. Absolutely amazing. If you take a look at this, the eyes are really nicely painted. The scales, the detailing of this figure looks like an actual, you know, reptile. Okay, let's move on. Smilodon, one of my most favorite prehistoric animals as well. Which is known as also known as the saber toothed cat. I mean, if you guys have watched uh, Ice Age, you definitely know that you know the small don is actually one of the uh, most well known prehistoric big cats. Okay, this should be a Postosuchus, if I'm not wrong. Prestosuchus, I beg your pardon, a Prestosuchus. Okay, and um, this one should be a Postosuchus. Yeah, so different. 
And this is a prehistoric bear, it's not a modern day bear, I mean it looks like a modern day grizzly bear, but it's actually a prehistoric um, cave bear. Yep, that's right. This is a very very interesting, um, you know, prehistoric animal, it's known as a Dodecurus, very interesting name. And uh, it reminds me of like part armadillo, part um, possibly like porcupine, I'm not too sure. It's basically like an armored animal. And this tail reminds me of Stegosaurus, you know, like the Phagomizer. Yep. What is this? I think this is known as a uh, Necrokinia. Yes, I can't pronounce it you know, perfectly. So, yeah, it looks like a modern day, you know, mixed giraffe. Possibly, yeah, very cool animal. The nostril is like super significant. Okay, this is another. Um, I'm gonna remove this. So this is basically another smaller dog, but this time they have actually given it um like you know some mane that looks like a lion, but it has two huge um canine teeth. This is a figure from Peppo, but it doesn't look like Peppo quality if you ask me because. Apple figures, they are actually super well detailed and this one seems to be, you know, very unpolished to me but you can see it's a really beautiful figure as well Yep, the stripes are nice Another Dimetrodon, this is actually a um, bootleg version if I'm not wrong It's, it's basically like an imitation of um, uh, the one from Peppo This should be an Uintaphtherium, if I'm not wrong, yes that's right, Uintaphtherium, okay. And our last one is actually a um, Caprosuchus, a really beautiful one from Safari LTD. Yeah, I think that's all. Yeah, so this is basically my prehistoric animals collection. If you guys like this, I'll be doing more of this. And um, yeah, maybe next time I'm going to show you guys my prehistoric sea creatures collection, okay. Um, if, you, if you guys want to see that, Drop me a comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.